Hi students, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, now we are approaching very close to our exam day for NEET MDS 2025. I believe that you might be feeling a little overwhelmed with the dates being declared on the 31st of January, but we know that the applications are in process, not in process, and there's a lot of change that is expected. We don't know for sure if the dates are going to be postponed, but I want you to be mentally prepared with uh, whatever the dates may be, even if it's in the next 30 days or 60 days, 90 days, at this point of time, you should be giving your 100% to your preparation. So that when you're closer to the last day, last week of the exam, you have all the revision data available in your hand to study. Uh, a lot of you might be feeling a little uh, uncomfortable balancing your commitments with a lot of social events happening around you with the climate weather change and you know difficulty to uh, have the motivation to study when it's getting a little colder but keeping all that aside it is now the time to focus on uh, your preparation strategy and uh, even if you are starting now or if you have been very persistent in your preparation throughout the entire year you must make sure that your preparation yields good results now uh, in my experience, I believe a lot of you must be facing challenges with uh, time management or you might be not getting comfortable with specific subjects. Some of you might be a little thrown off with uh, complex questions, especially now that you are practicing marathon. You are seeing these detailed explanations. Some of these concepts may be new to you. Some of these uh, terminologies might feel a little difficult to digest towards the last few days of your preparation, but I want you to uh, listen to this video carefully and take down whatever information you need, whatever pertains to you. So if you're facing any of these challenges, I'm going to discuss all these problems one by one, and uh, I hope that it will help you in some form or the other. So let's start with time management uh, first. Now, at this juncture, you should be using at least 10 hours a day, eight to 10 hours a day, net worth of time, practicing questions, reading explanations, watching video explanations, or, uh, you know, making notes from existing uh, bites and explanations. Okay. You should be trying to uh, get ready for the last week of your exam preparation. You must have in mind what subjects will give you the best scores. Okay, if you are comfortable with endo, make sure that you know endo 100% everything about endo. If you are poor, say for example, with prosto, make sure that you are at least covering the top 50% topics, top 30% if at the least, so that you are covering high yield topics from each subject. If you have any questions with regards to which topics are important, do watch the strategy videos that are already available on the app. You can also find them on YouTube. I've also included the captions uh, underneath. They have all the links. So look at these strategy videos, find out the high yield topics and make sure that you are focusing on them. Now, how do you know if you are strong with a subject or you are weak at a subject? So the way to find that out is to take your mocks regularly, right? So if you're taking your mocks, and you will get these AI recommendations. Focus on the subjects that the recommendations are telling you to. Okay, focus on the topics of those subjects that you are not uh, sure of. That way you will cover more of your syllabus and you will feel a little more confident when you take your next mock. Now, uh, another problem this year, which I foresee, is that there's a change in exam pattern and there's a lot of uh, conflicting information around with regards to number of questions, number of sets, A, B, C, D, E, how many sets are going to be, the time frame, all of that. We'll wait for the final uh, update from the board. But until then, just be prepared to focus on a set of questions at a time. If it's 40 questions or 50 questions in a set, make sure that you are timing yourself in taking these mocks accordingly, okay? So this prioritization and time management and taking mocks is the first important advice that you must, must follow on at this juncture. 
then coming on to a uh, difficulty in handling complex questions so now you have prepared yourself with all these topics you are focusing on these subjects but now you are finding it difficult to attempt questions and you are uh, maybe getting a lot of negative marks or you are uh, not attempting a lot of questions because you are feeling underconfident so all these problems come when you are not uh, giving your thought in eliminating the options now keep conceptual topics on one side and factual aside we will not talk about factual topics because they are what they are if you know if you have to remember a value you have to remember it and final strokes will help you with that but if you have a conceptual topic if it is new then you have to apply your existing knowledge to eliminate two options if you can eliminate two options then you will have a 50% chance to get the correct answer in such situations attempt the question okay if you are able to eliminate two obvious incorrect options it is okay to attempt that question take that chance why do i tell you to take that chance is because if you have five questions for example and if you make one question incorrect then you lose minus 1 right but if you get one correct answer you get a plus 4 so if you get two questions correct out of a five you get a plus 3 so let's not get into the details of the math but there is a a very good chance that you will have a 50% guess correct okay so even if you get two answers correct out of five you are still gaining positive marks rather than losing them in attempting so i would highly encourage that you attempt as many questions as you can and try all of these tactics in your mock exam see if it is working for you so if you have a tried and tested formula on the day of exam you know that you can take this kind of a risk that is my second advice to you now the third advice with regards to difficult questions is uh, if you come across any difficult questions in the app bookmark them look at the explanations try to memorize the image associated try to get the data the fact like the concept should get rooted in your mind because if you have a new topic there are always new questions in the exam and you cannot deny that you will see unseen topics unseen subjects like things that you've never heard of before will be seen in the exam so you should be able to comprehend whatever you have read connect a few dots and try to apply that knowledge if it is something that is completely absurd and out of your scope of understanding do not attempt it but all this practice has to start from your mocks so take your mocks very seriously i have been telling this time and again it is necessary to uh, focus on your mocks at the moment so uh, the third issue that you might be facing is your mental stress now i know i am not a mental health expert or i do not have uh, much experience when it comes to being a motivational speaker but i have been through the process that you are going through right now and let me just tell you that the more stressed you are the more it affects your efficiency it is necessary that you take breaks every 30 to 40 minutes for 10 15 minutes try minimizing your screen time on uh social media and things like those at this point of time these are some distractions that usually end up you know you lose a lot of time when you are looking at all these things if you are in the middle of something other than your educational stuff then record uh just hear the recordings of the explanation if you are not watching them or uh watch something that is related to the topic that you are preparing on you know there's there's access to so much content out there that you can really uh, score incredible marks in this exam now again having access to a lot of content is another disadvantage that i see with the current few years of students because there is a lot of reading material a lot of video material a lot of podcasts a lot of notes from seniors workbooks it's 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 too much the problem that some of you might be facing is what do i read what do i leave what do i prioritize okay so you must prioritize 
things that are your concern don't listen to what other people are uh, prioritizing if you have bookmarked questions focus on them okay if you are weak at some concepts focus on them you need to worry about what you are going to be channelizing your energy into not what's happening around you now one way to do that is to if you've not done that so far is to bookmark questions in marathon as well if you are a pro user you know you can always go back look at these explanations again watch the video explanations you know and take down specific notes from these uh, data the app itself is just enough for your preparation you need not worry about opening physical textbooks or other reference materials or other multiple choice question books now a lot of your seniors will tell you read this book this is 100% going to uh, cover up all your basics and everything but regardless of whatever you are reading in those books you already have that data in the app which is more refined with better explanations with images focus on these image based questions the images that you see in the explanations are actually the images we pick from different sources from different standard textbooks because they have the uh, chances of appearing in the exam as an image based question so my advice to you is to focus on these explanations thoroughly bookmark them and don't get carried away with all the content that you see outside of the app okay if you are not trying if you are not able to visualize any clinical procedure you can watch a video or two on youtube in whatever speed you like but come back to the app as your first source of reference there could be parallel reading material i do not deny that you know sometimes you might want to open a standard textbook because you have conflicting information somewhere so that is okay but don't get lost in these a uh, world of words everywhere it's it's necessary that you you know put your uh, focus on one source and i i completely trust that the app has enough material to give you good score provided you use it to the best of your ability right uh, so don't don't feel overwhelmed don't burn out at this point of time now is the time to get up and you know start running towards the final a uh, goal and start prioritizing your preparation make sure you are getting enough rest and uh, make sure that you have a, a plan for yourself make sure that you are uh, like i always say tapering down your preparation for the last few weeks of the exam and as far as the exam dates and the application is concerned we are on top of uh, any notice that comes so if there is any update from on the website we are definitely going to bring it to your notice first and if there is an application form related uh, update we will help you we'll give you all the details things you need with the application process things you should be prepared for in the advance and uh, meanwhile just just don't don't lose it at this point of time now is the time when you can make it or break it and uh, my sincere advice to you is So just follow what you are doing don't don't worry about the volatility of everything you might feel that i am forgetting this i am forgetting that but human mind is wonderful wonderful piece of work and it retains more than you can imagine okay so just uh, go with the flow and if you need any support from us we are right here just feel free to reach out to us on whatsapp you have our uh, helpline numbers as well any of you who might want to just vent out you can uh, you know reach out to us just just feel comfortable and uh, hydrated happy sleep well and if there's anything else that you might want to uh, say just add a comment or two underneath this video and if you're not following us on youtube or instagram we keep Uh, coming up with content from time to time you can follow us there subscribe us so that you get notifications and all the best and i will be seeing you soon with another video as soon as we have an exam update take care